Miracle hockey star Mark Pavlik found dead in treatment center. The pride of the Iron Range was found mentally ill by a court after he was charged with beating a neighbor Olympic miracle hockey star and Iron Range sports legend Mark Pavlik was found dead Thursday in a central Minnesota residential treatment center, bringing to an end the life of a man who reached the pinnacle of international sport and hit the depths of legal and psychological distress. Pavlik, who turned 63 a week ago, died at Eagles Healing Nest, according to the Midwest Medical Examiner's Office. He had received many mental health treatment there for the past several months. At the time of his death, he was under civil commitment to a violent assault on a North Shore neighbor. Nearly one one-half years ago Sauk Center police said they were called to the center about 8.30 a.m. Thursday on a report of a death. Emergency dispatch audio disclosed that Pavlik had not been seen since 8 p.m. Wednesday and responding personnel said he appeared to have been dead for several hours. His body was taken to the examiner's office in Anoka, which said it has yet to determine a cause and manner of death. Pavlik's hockey resume is pure Minnesota gold in itself. He was a speedy and crafty standout for the Eveleth High School Golden Bears. In college, he led the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs in goals in the last of his three seasons. Then came his significant role in Team USA's miracle on ice defeat of the Soviet Union in the 1980 Olympics before they went on to win gold. Success followed Pavlik into the NHL, where he scored more than 30 goals in his first two seasons with the New York Rangers, with miracle head coach Herb Brooks behind the bench. But after hockey, Pavlik's quiet life in near seclusion along the sparsely populated North Shore came to a shocking halt when he was charged in Cook County District Court with beating his neighbor James T. Miller after the two went fishing in August 2019. Pavlik suspected that Miller, 63, spiked his beer. That unfounded notion left Miller with cracked ribs, a bruised kidney, a fracture to one of his vertebrae and other injuries. Pavlik, a land developer and longtime Lutzen resident, faced four felony counts, including two assault charges and two illegal weapons charges, after authorities found firearms with altered serial numbers on his reclusive property. In December 2019, District Judge Michael Cuzzo ruled that Pavlik was incompetent to stand trial because he was mentally ill and dangerous. The judge ordered him committed to a state-operated secure treatment facility in St. Peter. Two clinical psychologists who examined Pavlik before the order found him to have post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as other conditions. Both found that he lacked insight into his mental illness and was opposing treatment. However, he then showed enough progress in 